So I'm dragging Blender over into the Applications folder and we're just gonna go ahead and replace it. However, I accidentally clicked the wrong option, so I had to cancel it and do it again. So here I am actually replacing it. And, you know, if you look at the top of the screen, it says I'm in Finder. So I found that on Mac, if you just tap um, Apple on your keyboard, it'll show Library. And from Library, you can actually go to Application Support and Blender. So for the purposes of this installation, I'm just going to be renaming my 2.93 folder so that way you can see me install it from a clean installation that everything's functional in a clean setup without anything extra going on. It's just easier. So of course we got to tell Mac that Blender's cool. You know, it should just know by now. And we'll just wait a moment for Blender to load. It actually took a lot longer to pop up than I was expecting. I guess that's Rosetta for you. So left click search. And the next thing is to go up and get into our preferences. So when it comes to the Mac, I always install these from a flash drive because I transfer them from the main PC to a flash drive and then just stick it in a Mac and test it with each installation. So first is enabling hard ops. The defaults are sufficient when it comes to hard ops. Next is box cutter. The defaults of box cutter are set up to be optimized. And then power snapping pies, which is just an old classic that I'm just attached to. And then comes the matter of turning off auto perspective, which drives me crazy. And we can just go through our preferences, make sure auto run Python scripts is on in case we use drivers, turn off save prompt so we can close it quickly, turn off load UI so we can load any file in the 2.8 era without old ugly UI. I was just talking about how you open a file from 2.49 and they'll try to put a vertical material panel in front of your face. I mean, a horizontal material panel in front of your face like you. <laughs> we used to work like that. But anyways, I closed Blender out and I'm just kind of cleaning up things a little bit. You can see the about in the background of the screen. Just using a humble little M1. And I was uh, eager to test it out and make sure that Hops was working with this. You know, I always love uh, doing Mac tests as you know, however, the Mac that I had previously wasn't the most performant. So there's definitely a lot of improvements to be found with this one. So I actually ended up taking this model all the way to Box City and it was actually quite a fun time. However, the thing about a Mac keyboard for me is that Alt W is actually right close, to, right by Command W, which will literally end your program's career. And I just find that to be such a cruel way to operate on a Mac, but I might buy a proper Windows keyboard and just remap some of the keys around to feel very similar to my main computer. And then I'll be able to just rock on a Mac and start doing actual Mac content because there are some things about a Mac that are pretty aesthetic and pleasing, uh, like the hot corners. You know, even though you have hot corners in Windows, it still is the ticket on Mac as far as setting up to be launchpad, screensaver, showing your desktop and stuff like that, especially if you're using a hotkey of command shift four to take screenshots and send them. You can just use the hot corners to just jump to your desktop and grab them. But as far as what I'm doing in a video, this is just a rudimentary box city. Everyone should, when they first get these tools, go on a trip to box city, just take a box, cut it up, add multiple levels of bevels, just play with control and slap a blank material, but hold control. So it puts a unique material on each object. And then from here, you want to try adding a plane to the floor. So there's a couple of ways you can add a plane. And my favorite way is actually to use two shape and place a plane directly below it. And you see me do that here where I press space bar, change it to plane. And then I try to uh, control roll, but I pressed the wrong button because it's a Mac. And now I have my plane, I can scale it up by like 80 times and slap a blank material on that as well. And now we're cooking. From here, I can delete the lights and begin adding blank lights. But for using a Mac NUC basically that doesn't have a uh, GPU of legend like Nvidia or AMD, this was actually quite a pleasant experience with just dealing with this computer for the first time. I'm pretty amazed with this computer. I was expecting it to be just a little, another set top box that we would just uh, forget about and I'd get back on my main computer with the 3090. But, you know, you see me scrolling through blank lights and the viewport's working. And I even, in a previous test, added glass and, and glass is known to break down on AMD Mac computers. 
So to be able to even do all of this on the Mac with in a fluid process, even though I'm using like an itty bitty magic keyboard and a vertical mouse, which is the weirdest mouse ever, I was able to pull it off, get it to Box City. So with that, welcome to Hard Ops. Now you have it installed. And with that, we can uh, wrap up this video and I hope to see you in future content.